and has been a, a, a very big benefit for us. So, the lead impact, um, specifically the $1,000, uh, which is the registration for the company, um, exam fees, that so we have about $400 each for those of you that aren't lead accredited yet. Is it lead accredited and the project is certified, right? Uh, registration is $450. I think from a basic material standpoint, um, they are almost even at any one point in time now. Um, I think maybe one to three percent of some of the numbers that we're seeing today uh, nationwide when we're looking at sustainable um, projects. But from a basic standpoint, materials are almost dead even that are sustainable versus not. Um, the cost of paint is actually more for the low VOCs than obviously standard paint, almost to the double, and that contributes to the majority of it. Um, commissioning, I said, at $4,500. Um, for all of you uh, design professionals that are in the room, uh, it actually doubles the cost of um, fees that are associated with the project uh, to the tune of, you know, normal engineering costs in a standard office building would be about a dollar a foot. I would expect to pay, if not a little bit less, um, or actually over two. And it's the paper process that's extremely intensive. I've spoken with a lot of developers across town and across the country, um, even one last night on my flight home, they're doing a, um, a very, very large retail development. We're considering going back through and trying to get the <coughs> development certified. Um, it's going to cost about half a million dollars just to do the paper process. Um, that's, that's where the real expense comes in uh, for building lead certified buildings is it, it, it's the time. Paperwork. It's, it's making sure every single thing that you do in construction is recorded. Because the worst thing you can do is not write down everything or photograph everything. It's almost to the point of put a camera that can see all the floor where there's work going on and just let it run. And just put the DVD in every single morning and just have it so you have that backup information when they come and talk to you about did you do this or did you do that. Um, we photograph, we have thousands of photographs already. Um, we will have thousands <coughs> more um, for this project. Um, lots of documentation, and that is the major intensive part about building the lead building. Um, I think there's a little bit of fear factor out there from the construction business, especially here in Northeast Ohio, um, that don't have a lot of experience building lead certified buildings. Um, elsewhere in the country, if you were in San Francisco, you probably wouldn't have as much of an issue with Portland, Oregon, um, the same. Uh, but I think here in Northeast Ohio, there still is a little concern regarding construction. And then uh, building management systems for us is about another $6,000. Um, Has Simon done a lead project before? Right, right on track to Scott. Yep. <laughs> so, okay. and a pro and, and trust me, I, we, we broke some ground within our company. I said that early on. We hadn't actually done the, the actual certification process. Um, Peter has TES. He has Isaac Lewin. So all of us together, we're really working together trying to understand the true steps that it takes to get through this. That's why we're, uh, you know, we want to share this with everybody because it's, it is a learning process. Um, and it's better if we can get the information out there and continue to do these, uh, these types of jobs and, Maybe make it some more cost effective or at least educate our clients so they understand. Like, I want a green building. <laughs> That's great. Did you watch it on Home and Garden TV last night? Um, you know, did you read about it in the newspaper or the latest development magazine? I mean, I just went and I spoke nationally in a hotel conference about uh, doing uh, lead certified projects. And I said, you know what, everybody, let's not, let's, let's forget about the lead um, itself. As a, as a terminology, let's talk about green. Let's make a green scene. Um, energy star, at least anything. Hotel industry is the bigger, wa biggest wasters of energy in the entire country. Uh, just because it's just the, it's the nature of the hotel. Um, and you know, we speak a lot about it often. I publish articles on this, um, and the media really has kind of uh, gobbled up the whole lead or green movement. 